Hey, Lot. Huh? Would you like to blow my horn? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound right, does it, Lot? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Where? All right. You ready? Where? You're going to be impressed. Where? Hang on, hang on. Good morning, guys, from the Philippines. Beautiful morning. It's Saturday morning. Uh, just finished up breakfast with a subscriber. Home now. Here's what's on the agenda. I got to go up and get my horn installed on Mad Max. Um, but you know what? Before I go up there, there's a company called Shopee that um, sort of like a Lazada, eBay type thing here, uh, Amazon. You know, you can purchase stuff on there. Um, so, a couple months ago, I made a purchase through uh, the Shopee. And uh, I'll tell you what, I will never, ever, ever, ever again purchase anything from Shopee. Um, one item I got, it was a front end here. It was rock. It was a front end that went on around the light here. It was like a shield. Got the thing, opened it up, all excited. Got a new accessory for the bike. The front end was scratched up. It was all scratched up. So I contacted the, uh, you know, the person that sent it out. They said, "Oh yeah, just send it back. We'll get you. We'll, we'll ship you a different one." So I went up, got a price on shipping it out. I paid a little over a thousand pesos for it. It was almost a thousand pesos to ship it back. Like, nah, I ain't, I ain't doing that. Or no, they they, they were going to refund my money because I'm like, you know, I don't I don't want this. Uh, so it was like almost a thousand pesos to ship it back. So I'd have been out a thousand pesos. Like I've always said, you will lose money living here in the Philippines, whether you like it or not. Um, another thing, got this guard here, crash guard here. Looks nice and everything. Had a custom paint it. That's another completely different story. Where once again. Uh, Let's just put it this way, the guy that painted that, I wouldn't have him paint my toenails, that's how bad it is. Um, you know, and somebody's gonna say, well, you shouldn't have painted them, it doesn't work like that here. They look at you and they want paid. Anyways, bought that from Shopee. This piece here, mount it, like here. Mount it down around here and bolt it in. The weld busted off. The weld busted off, so I had to take that off. Once again, an item from Shopee. I know somebody can say, oh, go out and just get it welded. Yes, I can, but it's not the point. I paid for it. Now I got to spend extra money. Here. Just seen it shaking really hard. That weld broke now. So, yeah. Guys, maybe people have had better experiences with Shopee than me, but I'll never buy from Shopee again. Not after two things, you know. Like I said, yeah, I can get that welded. Probably will get it welded, but it's not the point. It's only like two months old. Shouldn't, shouldn't break like that. Anyways, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna get the new horn on. I'm gonna go from a little beep beep to a loud blasting horn. Uh, I don't know. Did I open this video up like bitching? I don't know. I'm just sharing. Here it is. I'm just sharing these things. Uh, with you guys, things I've experienced, things I've learned, things, uh, mistakes I've done here. Um, but like I said, Shopee, I'll never buy from them again. Anyways, gotta head up. Uh, I told the guy I'd be up there soon and uh, we're gonna get the horn installed. All right, so I'm up here like two blocks, two stores up from where our, from where our sorry, sorry store or grocery store is. Um, right here area in Angeles City here on Nangueco. Um, Our store is like right down there. Um, but you know what? I didn't go to the dealer. I came to these guys. Um, they're the ones that are doing it, hooking it up uh, right here. Biker spot. Check it out. There's an Aerox. It's a nice, that's carbon, or no, they call that hydro dipping. Hydro dipping. That's really nice. I checked into that to get some of my parts done on the N-Max. But boy, that's a nice Aerox. Same engine as in my X-Max. Just different style Yamaha that they make. Um, but yeah, there it is. There's N-Max. <laughs> you know the simple little beeping horn. Hang on, let me show you here. That guy's bike was in one of my vlogs. That's a nice bike. 
You know the simple horn? Hang on, I gotta hear the horn before you take it off. Simple, goofy little horn. <laughs> you know, not loud enough for me, gotta be louder. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they're gonna install that. I, 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 you know what, I went over to this store right there. Right straight ahead, racing that. I went to those guys and I, uh, last night I asked them, hey, how much uh, to install the horn? They said, did you buy the horn here? I said, no, I said, I bought it online because you guys don't sell them. Nobody sells the horn I want here. They said, oh no, we can't, we can't install it. You didn't buy it from us, so we can't install it. I thought to myself, so you don't want to make any money. But that's how it is sometimes. You know, they'd rather not, some people would rather not do the work than do the work and make a little bit of money. I guess if you buy the horn from them, they could charge you extra for the horn and they get you in the labor. But uh, no big deal. Like I told him, I said, there's many other dealers right along this strip here that, uh, that do it. And these kids here, they always come down to our store and they buy cigarettes and stuff like that. Uh, so, but there it is. And Max is dirty. I took that crash cart off because it was just vibrating so hard. And I didn't want to keep it on there. So there's the guy. Here's the story. It's a nice bike right here, huh? That's a nice custom bike. Right here. Nice custom bike. There it is. The front end's all hot. I always what? Crab Bell? Nah, nah. Just live here. Down here, local. Yeah. Here's the front end all tore off. You know, one of the things here. I'll ask you. Did you go to school to learn all this? You. Did you go to school to learn all this? No. Just learn it on your own, right? Yes. Yeah, that's the way most of it is here. These guys don't go to school, they just learn it on their own. How long you been working on bikes? On bikes? 15 years. 15 years. And I've been a manager in a motorcycle company. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright. But yeah, that's mostly... Most of the guys here don't go to school. There's no such thing as motorcycle school. <laughs> I don't think so. But they all just learn over the years and they just get into it. Learn how to do it on their own. I'll talk while the, you guys can watch the traffic. Thing is, you gotta find the right place down through here. Because you got some people, I've watched them, you know, they'll, they'll change a tire and they'll scratch rims up and, you know, they work on bikes and they scratch them up and they take, you know, the outside you know, your outside parts off and stuff, and they'll just throw them on the ground and scratch them up. So you gotta, you gotta kind of find somebody and, and an area down here that does quality work. And these guys are always busy. So they're always doing, you know, if they're busy, that means they're good. You know, if a place that's empty, well, it means they're really not that good. Um, but yeah, you gotta kind of watch. I mean, they just do all the work right here. You know, right in the front of the shops is where they do all the work. I was watching this kid here earlier. He was just beating with that hammer, beating on that rim. <laughs> Gotta watch you don't bend anything or break anything. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But here it is, biker spot, motorcycle and scooter parts. They're like the very last. Gotta watch here full of water they'll splash it when the car come by they're like the very last one on the left hand side coming down through here like i said our store is one two stores down from from this area one of the things i like here is uh the homemade tools <laughs> like look at this homemade tool this guy's using here he's getting his front end here uh, replaced and he's got this homemade tool here to compress the spring down. Looks like an Allen wrench. I'll take a better look at it then. All right. Can I see your tool? 
It's like just a homemade tool here. That's like a, that. That there's an Allen wrench. Yeah. I don't know. Hang on. I can't. There. It's like an Allen wrench, and it looks like he welded another small piece on. It's like U shaped. You can see all the welds right there. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gets the job done, right? They probably don't. They probably do make a tool for the job, but it probably costs a lot. And it's cheaper just to make some type of homemade. Homemade wrench, but yeah, that's what I love about them. Things are moving right along. It's like I was watching them. You get some of these hacks, they'll just take the wire and wrap it around like a, like a fitting or, a, you know, whatever. And they don't, uh, they'll take black tape, black tape everything. He had that heat, heat sealing or that shrink tube that he used. So you know he knows what he's doing. These are some of the small things you got to watch out for. You know, like I said, they'll take just break, you know, they'll use the wire, wrap it around something, a fitting that they need to adapt something or, you know, to, to make it work, and uh, then use black tape. Just black tape. But, you know, these, like I said, these are the small things that I notice that sets people apart from others. He used he used the proper wiring. He used the proper fittings. He used that uh, heat shrink. You know the heat shrink tube to, to uh, heat it up and shrink it down. So, like I said, these are the small things. Just the small things. Like he has a rag there on the front bumper so he doesn't scratch it up. You know, other people they're just hacks and they won't take care of your stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Some of these hacks will just take electrical tape and then just throw it around it where he's got that shrink shrink tube on it to seal it. You know, that's the proper way to do it. It's little details, like I said, little details that like that that I look for make me happy and make the customer happy. Here's the inside of the shop. It's not as big and fancy as some of the other shops here, but you know what? Sometimes big and fancy uh, isn't always the best. They have they have what you need here. And if they don't have it, they can get it. Here's the waiting area. <laughs> TV. Customer's lounge. Here's the customer's lounge. Right here. Or customer's lounge is out here. Wherever you want to sit. It's not air conditioned. You don't get free water. There's no soda machine. There's no vending machine. But you can always come down to LLB Sorry Sorry store down the road and get all your beverages and your your munchies and everything else you may need. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Check out this bike. This is a Kimco Super Z. I guess maybe it's a uh, the rival of the NMAX because it's kind of laid out the same somewhat. It's kind of a little, you know, got a little stretch to it. It's Kimco. Chinese made bike. Don't know anything about them. I just pulled up. So I say, these guys are busy. That Aerox pulled out. This Mio pulled in to get work on. So these guys, they're busy. And if they're busy, that means they're good. That's my theory on things. But yeah, check out the check out the Kimco. Kimco. Don't even know how much they run. All right, guys, you ready for the damage? Here's the damage on it. How much everything costs? You ready? Six hundred thirty-seven. Total of six hundred and thirty-seven. That's the relay. 150 pesos, the terminals are 42, the wiring's 50, uh, the Allen bolts are 45, a total of 278, and then how much? 350 in labor? <coughs> so 600, 637. So 637 pesos is roughly uh, $16, roughly, something like that. You know, you can't beat the price, and you know what? Come up. Came a couple hundred pesos extra in tip. I'll pay for good service here, and that's the thing: the finding good service. And these guys, I think, did a great job. Um, like I said, you guys see where they were at. One more time, I'll show you where they're at here. Anguico, Anguico. This is the road our store is on. Our store is 
two buildings down on the right hand side biker spot here it is biker spot I recommend them good prices you've seen the prices I'm really happy and Max is happy and Max is smiling and Max needs a wash but I'll go home and see how it likes the horn <laughs> I'll let her blow on the horn I know that didn't sound right I'll let her blow the horn wait that doesn't sound right either anyways I'll go home and let look give it a try so uh gonna head home now there's Lut be two and Rocky hey Lut huh? would you like to blow my horn <laughs> really <laughs> <laughs> That doesn't sound right, does it, Lut? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Where? All right. You ready? Where? You're going to be impressed. Where? Hang on. Hang on. Let's get the key in. Oh, let's turn the key. Hang on. Hang on. Let, hang on. Got to get your face. All right. Okay. See that little button that has that horn there? Oh, yes? Yeah. Go ahead. One, two, ready? <laughs> oh my god! What's wrong? Oh, it's too loud. It's like a bus. It's like a bus. Yeah, it's like a bus. One of those buses in the province. Jeez. Do it again. Do it again one more time. <laughs> doesn't scare the dogs. Rock, it doesn't scare you, does it, buddy? It's good. It's good. Oh, that's so good. It's loud, huh? It's so loud. The guy did a great job. Mm -hmm. Thoroughly impressed. All the little fine details that I was looking for when somebody does work and stuff, they're good. They are definitely good. I do highly recommend them. Hang on, let me get... Here it is. Here's the horn. If you're looking for a good horn, here it is. You ready? Odo style horn. Pia. P-I-A-A. -A. 400 hertz. 500 hertz. That's it, guys. I didn't find any here in the Philippines. I had to order, well, order through Lazada. I didn't see any around this area. But um, that's the horn. If you like how it sounds, get yourself one. 